What is up ladies and gents, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle again today playing Mountain Blade Vorband. In the previous episode, we had run off into the hills, well, the dunes, I suppose, to join up with the Serenet Sultanate. They had been totally sexist towards us, we had gotten captured in battle, things had not gone very well. It's been about three weeks in game time, and I've built up another army so that we don't have to go through that whole process again, because I doubt you guys are watching, <laughs> I doubt you guys are wanting to watch me scrub it up again and just kind of deal with tier 1 troops. So right now, what has occurred over this kind of expanse of time, however, is that we've declared a uneasy truce with the Rodox, who took back a lot of this land. I totally judge them wrong. However, if you look, Swadia made a press in here too. So Swadia is using their default lands right now. The Swads are doing quite well. And in this episode, we need to focus on riding around and getting Nizar back and getting some of the people we lost in between episodes. I did do a lot of that riding to begin with, so I've gotten about four of the people back. You'll see here. Let me go back to my party. There. I've gotten Behester, Metheld, Lazalit, Borcha, but I haven't gotten everybody yet. Let's level up some of these footmen, too. You'll see that I've gone all over the kingdom. Oh, yeah. I picked up Rolf as well. Let's put Rolf up here. Awesome. And then we've got him. Let's upgrade this guy. There we are. And so we've got infantry from Nords. We've got bowmen from everywhere. Vagir, Serenids. The only people I didn't grab from is Rodox. Because I'm not really interested in sharpshooters right now. I know they're powerful. I know. I know. I'm just trying to do different stuff. I'm... I'm trying to keep this thing fresh. I've never used, like, Serenid archers or anything like that. So I'm just playing around with units. It's not that I'm ignoring you guys. I just wanted to fiddle around with some new guys. Let's head back on up. And since there's nothing happening right now, I hate to say it, but we're sort of forced into a position where we've got to sit around and fight with bandits until things come back down the pipe that our, well, that are beneficial to our overall campaign. Looks like we've got a lot of Sea Raiders up here. Let's pick a particularly large group. And see if we can punch them in the eye socket. We may knock out their Sea Raider landing too. Just to be too cool for school. Looks like those Sea Raiders... Ooh, hopefully they'll dogpile on us. Nope, those That's little ones broke off. Damn, I was hoping we would fight against like 100 Sea Raiders right now. Because, frankly, fighting against 40 of them is kind of boring. Now we do have a pretty good retinue of horsemen. Although none of them appeared to have spawned. No, horsemen follow. Horsemen do not charge. That's not what I need from you. But I'm ready. I've got a Kefia on right now. I'm all excited about fighting for the Serenid Sultanate. We're going to see how this whole thing goes. Let's take the remainder of our... Oh, God. Why would you do such a thing? Hey. Hey, why are you guys... Why are you guys out there fighting right now? That makes me a little nervous. I told you to follow. Put the infantry out there, and then I'm going to set up really, really wide. And we're going to get a Cray Cray charge in. Alright, send in the infantry to kind of give them a little bit of a distraction, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. So now we send the cavalry in. And, oh, I missed. Disappointing. Off of this head. Yeah, there we go. At least I killed somebody. There we go. We got him as well. Not a whole lot to narrate with these battles. These things are becoming kind of mundane, I will admit. Unfortunately, I'm stuck in a position... Where we can't really take castles yet. We don't have enough units to take a castle because you take attritional losses at castles, which totally, totally sucks. You're just going to lose a ton of units no matter what you do every time you try and take a castle. And so I think at this point, since they're not going to give us a fife, I think we should probably try and snipe a castle in the next war. So what's going to happen is the enemy may attack one of our castles, and the garrison is going to be very, very small right after that attack. If we jump in right there, we may be able to score ourselves a castle. The Lord has admitted that he would be privy to the possibility of giving us a castle if we capture it ourselves. And so I think that's going to be our medium-term goal right now. Our short-term goal is just to wait for a war to break out. And then our long-term goal is obviously to annihilate everyone that gets in our way and force them under our lovely womanly boot. Upgrade every Ooh, two Huskarls! Hooray! What could make me happier than a new Huskarl? We'll go with the horseman right there. Ooh, Serenid recruit hiding in the mix. I did have a farmer that I picked up randomly, but unfortunately he got gibbed, which made me... made me sad. He got stabbedly labbedied. Is that guy outrunning me? Barely. Yeah, we're gonna leave. I don't feel like fighting any Sea Raiders. Let's find some other stuff to do. I think if we head back down to the south, we can maybe do a couple quests in some of these main areas. Like, we can hit up Nara, we can hit up... Hey, we're making money! 105 silver. 
Moving on up in the world. Vagirs and Swati have made peace, which increases the chance that Vagirs may declare. Are we neighboring Vagirs? Oh, we are. Good. What do the Kurgites even have left? They have Tolbuk Castle. <laughs> that little tiny patch of purple. Oh, really? Look over here. So the Swadians made a really strong push into Vagir territory. I guess Vagirs didn't feel like defending it. I don't really know what happened right there. It's kind of one of those unique circumstances where I... I had dictated unto you, I had written it in the scrolls, that I thought that they were going to be the next ones to go down, and it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Interesting things happening along every front. Let's maybe go to... I forgot what I said. Oh yeah, I was going to make nicey-nice down here in some of these villages. So that we can recruit a little bit easier. Let's look for bandits. So I'm going to hit every village around the way. I think Dracuba... No, Amarad is mad at us. That's who's pissed off. We'll go back to Amarad. And since they're Mr. Grumpy Pants with us right now, we're going to try and get their boxers out of a bunch. We also need to grab some food. I know my troops aren't fond of starving. It's one of those little things. I was getting food the other night. And there was a waitress, and she was like, I asked her for lemonade. Like, I decided I wanted some lemonade. It's been a while since summer, and I felt like getting a lemonade with dinner. And she goes, do you want pink or yellow? And for a moment, I was like, well, they both taste the same to me. Can I figured it'd be kind of funny if somebody was, like, compare and contrast. But I really didn't want to mess with somebody who's in control of my food. That just seemed like a terrible idea, so I let it go. But definitely forcing them to recite unto me, like, an essay about the difference between the two. Because it all seems sort of aesthetic to me. I mean, either or. Pick one. Pick one and throw it in a cup and I'll probably drink it. Whatever. Got a ransom broker down here. It doesn't look like any of these little villages have been captured. Let's sell off some of these sea raiders because our cash flow is looking a little bit... It's looking scamp. It's not robust at the moment. It is definitely not thick. And they're grumpy here with us, so let's take a walk around the streets. We're going to go find the local guild master and we're going to see if we can sell our souls to him in order to get ourselves back into bed with some of the trade merchants here. Up here maybe? Eh? No? Well damn. This place is kind of scary at night. I don't like all these corridors. They make me feel nervous. Seems like the kind of place where you could definitely end up like in the wrong neighborhood. Almost instantaneously. Do we have to walk the stairs? Can you get your aerobics in and kind of run the stairs right now? I don't really feel like taking my time with this whole endeavor. I miss the button that finds the guildmaster. That's what I miss. Oh my, there's all these little hidden nooks and crannies. Jump! I was trying to wound myself. I was trying to commit ritual suicide in protest for not being able to find the guildmaster. This is your fault, guildmaster! I guess the armorer is still out here slanging boots at the middle of the night. You gotta figure he probably doesn't sell much at this hour, but whatever. Weaponsmith is doing the same thing. Well, damn. There he is. Nope, we're not gonna be able to track down desert bandits. Not gonna happen. Desert bandits are really, really fast. They're all on horses, and they're pretty much impossible to wrangle. I sincerely hope we go back to war sometime soon. Let's take a look at some of these outlying territories, see what's going on in Dugan. <laughs> Dugan. It's weird that there's like a big old rock bridge right here. Let's ride over and have a look at that. They should put like an event or some kind of hidden Easter egg in there. I've never come out to this end of the map. I never do anyways, not very often. Let's go see what the Kirkites are doing right now other than huddling around their minuscule campfire praying for death to be fast. Let's mess with the Kirkites. What's the worst that could happen? How elite are his troops? Pretty elite. He's been sitting around. He's definitely been beefing up. Hamezan Noyan. At least his name rhymes. I would definitely make my title rhyme with my name if I had the choice. Should we pick a fight with him, guys? I think we should pick a fight with him because I'm kind of bored. So if we get ourselves into trouble here, it'll be my own fault. But... Maybe get some horsemen in here. Yeah, get a couple more. What are these? A veteran footman. A master archer. They seem like they have okay armor there. Never used one of those before, so I don't know. Beats me. Let's level up Bahester. 
And Behester, I always forget what I'm working on with Behester. It looks like he's our scout. So we're going to continue down that line. And is there anything else I can sort of throw? Oh, looting is tied to agility. Well, we'll give him another spotting point. Which is kind of gross. And then we'll give him a wife. Hell if I know. We'll give him wound treatment since nobody else in our group has it. Just something random to fill in a gap while we wait for him to hit 21. Borcha. What do you want, Borcha? Borcha, I believe we were doing something. I think we were maxing out his writing so that he could get to a armored horse and become a cavalryman. So we're going to continue giving him some extra stroking skills and then throw one-handed weapons in there. All right, let's pick a fight with Hamezan Noyan. Prepare to fight. And also maybe to die. Or to beat me. Oh good, we're up against a horse army. And we deployed on a hill. RNG is in our favor, my friends. It is in our favor. I have my archers hang out on this hill up here. Take the dominant position. Get everybody to follow me around for a little bit. Oh, they've got somebody charging out in front. Brave. Stupid, but brave. To quote every war movie ever. And look at that. Why would you charge up this hill? I'd be like, if I was playing a cavalry army, I'd be like, no, sir, you can come to me. Forget that. Absolutely not. A big old row of Nords hiding behind shields at the top of a mountain. Seems like a horrible, horrible mistake to me. The lovely thwuck, thwuck, thwuck of bows flying away. That's what it sounds like. If I had to assign it a comic book sound, it would be thwuck. Spelled T-H-W-U-C-K. Just because I like it with the C-K better. It's funnier. And I'm going to unleash my hordes now. I swinging low on my horse. Being a jerk. Nothing says I want to slash you in the face like stabbing a guy's horse. Me and my horse, we're like bros. We eat dinner together. I have him like a little horsey seat at the table, which is more complicated than you might think. It's really more of like a pulley system that he stands. Like you stand and then you put it around him like a harness and then you lift him up into the air. And then he sort of just sits at eye level with you at the table. My table's really tall. That's why you need a harness for it. I actually have to vault my way up in. There's kind of like this siege ladder looking thing that I use to get towards it. You never know when you're going to be sieged during dinner. God, I am just... It's because I'm talking. That's why I'm missing so much. I miss a lot when I talk. Oh, horsemen! Horsemen with couched lances coming over a hill. It's like a little nightmare. I don't even know what to think about that. God. This is a pit o slaughter here. And then I'm going to have everybody regroup because they're coming up over the hill and I don't want to risk anything weird happening. Hey, Mathild killed a Mameluke and got herself up to level 14. That's my girl right there. Alrighty, let's set in the infantry. Oh god, their second wave is a little scarier than I thought. Their second wave is way more beefy and terrifying than expected. These are a lot of dudes in like plate mail. Yeah, they had a bunch of master archers coming in on their second wave. My expectation is that we are going to take a lot of unit loss right there, but that's all right. We're bored and riding around causing problems. Can I capture this guy by any chance? I mean, I don't mind doing a trial by combat, but whatever. I could go pick on Rodox. Oh my god. Yeah, that went just as bad as I thought it did. 
as equally poor as expected. However, we did get a bunch of... Yeah, let's go with that. Take all those master archers. Capture all of your people. And I think I'm going to get rid of them so that I can take more infantry because I think they're worth more. And then we'll sort of just fill those in after the fact. Some steppy bandits. You have to say steppy because there's an extra name in it. Or there's an extra E in it. Steppy bandit. Okay, nothing else to be concerned with. We wiped him off the map. Can we take Tolbuck? Let's go take Tolbuck if we can. What are we looking at here? God, why are you guys eating so much? Like, every time I turn around, we're out of food. Let's go to Tolga. Sounds like something you would name a beer maid. <laughs> Tolga, bring me another ale. Oh, my dear. Let's put... All of that into their inventory because I no longer desire it. I do not wish it. And then, ooh, they don't have very good food here. Not to insult the chef or anything, but they are definitely limited, and that costed me a lot of money. Let's take a ride around the horn, let everybody heal up for a little bit. Losing a couple of units allowed us to make a little bit of extra money right before our revenue stream came around, but whatever. Spend a little bit of time recruiting and then auto-leveling some of these guys. Not impressed with the Serenit units thus far, thus far. Outside of the Mamluks, I'm not impressed with them, so we may have to outsource a bit more. Which means we're going to be doing all kinds of running all over the map, which is disappointing to say the least. But if it's got to happen, it's got to happen. Let's see if that Ransom Broker is still here. Nope, he has moved on. Welcome to the luck of the Splattercat. We'll try that. I can't. I can never say the name of this town. Barigi. Just way too many e sounds in it. Barigi. I don't know if there's like intonation at the end. It's a. It's a weird. It's a weird city name. And they're gonna eat through that food insanely quickly. So let's get back into Dur Cuba. And I may go take a piss on Rodox just to see what they do. I mean. That might piss off my lord, because we were causing all kinds of problems with Rodox. God, they ate that food so quickly. Why do we not have, like, a bread basket down here? There is no town down in this region that provides, like, food for cheap. Every single place is just strapped for food. We were starving or something. I think that was us. Yeah, we declared war on Rodox one more time. Which means I've got to get the hell out of Halmar. That's not where I want to be. See, that's Halmar is what I'm looking at right now. 113... That's absolutely nothing for a garrison on a major city. I'm going to hit this caravan because we need food. I don't want the backstory. The backstories here are just like you get that one text and if there was any pretext to it or like if anything good could happen after that, eh. Alright, we're going to rob this caravan and that should start us out on the right foot with some supplies. Oh no, my archers are not wrangled here. Archers, fall back in the line, Otto! Yeah, I may have to put out my... Weak. So I'm gonna tell the cavalry to charge just to put out a smoke screen for my archers since... Oh, I don't wanna... No! Put the wrong weapon out and everything. This is how a terrible battle starts, my friends. And that is how the middle part goes. Oh my god, there are horses everywhere. I hate cavalry battles. I hate them ever so very much. You can't pick up momentum because every two feet there's somebody crossing the T on you. Send the infantry in because I believe I forgot to do so. I'm going to try and get in on that little scrum to save our Mamluk from getting killed. And that should be the battle for us, I think. Now from this, I'm hoping that we'll get a bunch of food so that we can start this campaign off right in the next episode. I don't see us getting a whole lot done, 
in between here and there. But it might happen. We're probably going to loot a ton of horses from this, too. Some chicken, some dried meat. That is the worst caravan I've ever raided in my life. That was an absolutely miserable caravan. Well, that plan backfired. I'm going to head up to Dirham, where I think they have a bit more arable land. See if we can't get a big old fistful of food up here. So, yeah, there's a bit more that we can play with. Okay, so that should be enough food to hold us for this campaign. Let's get down into Rodok territory and we'll figure out what's looking like a juicy target. We need to go meet with the campaign. Emir Gulasen, he's near to, where is this? I don't know the names of any of these places, so I'm going to have to look them up. Okay, so he's way over there, and where is he headed? They're going to attack Halmar, so I'm probably just going to camp out near Halmar. That might be the best way to meet up with all these guys let them come with me or come to me there he is okay so we actually might get to take part in this campaign alrighty so we're gonna earn some right to rule here I'm not gonna do any of the quests that he's suggesting well we are right next to a city if he gives us the quest to do all the cattle we can Wrangle some cows. Yeah, let's go get the cows. I don't think he pays you back for them, though, which is the weird part. We needed eight heads of cattle, and to do this quest, I know I didn't explain it very well, but you've got to go to the village cent center. You find the village elder, and then you go to supplies, you get some cattle. He'll have like 23, you do five, and they do stack, so if you buy multiples of five, it'll just give you a big old pool of like 15, for example. Oh my god, those cattle were so expensive. This quest was not in my favor. And then you drive them, and this quest is awful if you have to do it for long distances. But if it's nice and simple and you can do it like so, then do it like so. He paid us 800 dinars, so yeah, we lost about 1,000 dinars on that one. He wants us to scout, so he's going to do Peshmi, Qualiut, and Halmar. So there's Peshmi. There's Halmar, and then Halayut could be just about anywhere. Let's look it up. I'm not going to sit around panning and scanning for the next 25 minutes. Do Qualayut. I probably went right by it. There it is. Okay, I thought that was green attacking a yellow caravan. I was about to be like, oh, not in my land. Not right now. My loyalties, I know where they lie. And they lie very, very low. And we're being sequestered one more time, so we're losing money again. Which means we're going to... Oh, seriously? And so Halmar is one of those locations now that we want to camp. Because I can almost guarantee you what's going to happen is Rodok's going to hit it. Let's go fight with Lachem. Well, he's really fast. How many horsemen does he have? Oh, we're traveling at the same speed. All right, whatever. Oh, it's my... Never mind. It's all these ridiculous people that I'm carrying around as prisoners. Let's go to the tavern and see if we can't sell them off post-haste. Book merchant, wandering scald, pretty much everything you could ever want... Okay, so Peshmi's being raided. We'll go help out with that. But first, we need to sell some prisoners. So I'm going to go up to Nara. I think we may break off the episode right here. I don't know. We'll do... I will keep you guys on board to look around for another ransom broker. But I don't want to. I don't relish it. I don't like wandering around circles trying to entertain you guys. It's difficult. Because there's... It's nothing entertaining about trying to find a ransom broker. It's one of those very unmarketable to activities in this game. Alright, so that's worked out. Let's go back down and we'll save Peshmi, and that's what we'll break off the episode. So, to the aid of Peshmi, I'm going to be careful because I can pretty much wager that they're going to come back and try and re-siege this. Nobody yet, though. We'll attack these bandits and that'll be that. I'm going to leave everybody in charge mode because I simply cannot be bothered to do otherwise. 
Ooh, they're horsey bandits. We do want to be careful about flanking cavalry, riding up behind us, and then killing us with one swoop when we stop. Our armor class is pretty good to where one-shots for melee are very unlikely. But at the same time, if I can watch out for melee, I would rather do it. I would rather do it now than regret it later. Okay. Wrap that on up, and that should give us a little bit of favor with the citizenry of Peshmi. Once again, we're not going to take the goods, we're just going to take the honor. If we can get ourselves super honorable, it means more people will like us by default. There we are, and it also gives us a really good relation with them so that we can recruit a little bit faster. I'm going to hang out here for just another minute or so because I am interested in seeing what Rodox decides to do. He gave Halmar to himself, which is disappointing. Are there any invasions going on down here? We could also go take a look at Cherise. Let's go have a look around rapidly and figure out what else is worth looking at in our kingdom. Oh, we've got somebody here. Bulba. Our old friend Bulba. He is out riding us, but I think we'll do his fight in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Mountain Blade Vorband. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. I hope everything is going well with you and yours, and take care out there, everybody.